back to my channel so in this video we are going to talk about what are the roles and responsibilities to become a power bi developer okay so this topic is quite important and help you understand how you can get started to become a power bi developer so without any delay let's get started so what is a like who is a power bi developer so in the previous two videos, we have looked at what is Power BI and what are its architecture phases that comes into place, right? Now, we will use the same architecture design and let's split the different uh, roles that is needed or the different knowledge that is needed for anyone to become a Power BI developer. So the first important uh, uh, knowledge or the first important skill set that is needed here is understanding or having a basic understanding of SQL. So why SQL? Because we need to deal with different data sets to bring into Power BI desktop, right? So we need to connect to different data sources that comes in from variety of sources. Now, in order to query to that particular data source, we would need to have a basic understanding of SQL so that you are able to connect to the data source and make some uh, better visualization within Power BI desktop. Okay, so a good understanding of SQL should help you to begin with uh, this particular role. And then you should also have some basic understanding of data warehouse concepts. This is also important because when you do the data modeling within Power BI desktop, it would help you to understand which schema would need to be created within Power BI desktop and which would help you to make a, uh, in terms of improve the performance within the respective modeling design. So therefore, you would need to have a basic understanding of the data warehouse concepts as well. And then, so we have looked at two separate skills. One is the SQL knowledge. The other one is a good knowledge about the data warehouse concepts. So that would also include what is meant by your data table, a lookup table, and what are uh, dimensions and measures, and how is the data being stored in our master table. So you would be having those understanding when you work with this Power BI desktop, okay? And then you are also need to be uh, familiar with using the Power Query Editor within Power BI desktop. Okay, so why do we use a Power Query Editor? So this tool would help us to make any ETL uh, transformations within that particular data source. So therefore, you would need to understand or get a familiar understanding of this particular tool within Power BI Desktop through which you are able to uh, transform the data into the required uh, data set. Okay, so for that also, the knowledge of having a SQL and the data warehouse concepts would allow you to do the transformations in a better way. Okay, so the third skill set is having a good understanding of using the Power Query Editor within Power BI Desktop. And then we have the stacks expressions. So if you have already familiar using uh, Excel workbooks, right, then you might be able to know uh, how to write some custom functions within Excel and how you can uh, build some reports on top of that, right? So similarly, even in Power BI Desktop, you might need to write some DAX expressions to, uh, uh, to come up with your respective business logic. So therefore, you will need to understand the at least a good amount of knowledge on the different expressions that are available within Power BI Desktop so that when you are building any reports within Power BI Desktop, you know which function should be used for that particular requirement. Okay, so having a good understanding of tax expressions would also help you to be a good developer using Power BI Desktop. And the last one is having a good overview or a good understanding of this tool interface. Because when you work with a day-to-day -day work uh, to build some reports within Power BI Desktop, you, if you do not know which option is available where and how to use that particular feature within Power BI Desktop, then 
you will not be able to accomplish the required uh, business uh, demand right so therefore you would need to have a good understanding of the tool interface so you, you would need to know which option is available where and how you can navigate to it and which one do you need to incorporate within your reporting part okay so these are one of the important skill sets that you would need to acquire in order to become a good power bi developer okay and also when you attend to any power bi interviews right your interview questions would also be following along these uh, concepts itself so if you have already having a good knowledge and good exposure to these uh, topics right then for sure you would be able to uh, crack that particular power bi uh, interview with ease and comfort so these are uh, with respect to your technical uh, skill set now let's come to the soft skills that is needed for any power bi developer so for a soft skills perspective you would need to have a good uh, communication skills so why do you need a co good communication skills because you build this business intelligence reports that is needed for the top level management to take a better decision to improve their current business so therefore you would be interacting with the top level management at any given point of time and therefore you would need to have a very good communication skills in order to gather the business requirements and transform those into the uh, reports that you build within power bi desktop okay so how uh, how good you are able to communicate to get the most out of the uh, report gathering conversations right so in that way you would be able to uh, convey those in a better visualization when you build the reports so having a good communication skills is always important so communication skills doesn't mean that how uh, fluently you speak in that particular language in english but communication skills means uh, whatever that you would like to ask a question to the uh, customer or to the business right who is giving you the risk requirements uh, that person should also be able to understand what you're asking him so that he can explain you what he really requires out of that particular report okay so that is the communication skills which is helpful for you to progress your career to become a power bi developer and then having an analytical mindset because you are needed to think about the business logic how you can transform that and implement it using some custom expressions using dax functions or any of the other functions that are there in power bi desktop so you would need to and have that analytical mindset to transform your business uh, queries into your reporting perspective and the third one is the logical thinking so you would also need to have a good logical thinking to uh, come up with a uh, better visualization with the custom logic being written in power bi desktop so on an overview these are the important skills that is needed for you to uh, become a good power bi developer in the organization so i hope you understood these topics thoroughly so please do go through this skill set and try to attain those uh, knowledge if you are not good at that particular topic please do try to acquire that knowledge so that you are able to ace that interview or maybe ace that job on a day to day basis so this is all about the important uh, skill set that is needed for you to become a power bi developer now what are the roles and responsibilities when you become a power bi developer now once you uh, get a job be, uh, to be as a power bi developer what do you do so you would need to talk to the uh, uh, stakeholders or your uh, business who has some requirements to transform that into a visualization so usually you get into a meeting so you set up a meeting or probably they set up a meeting in which both of you are needed to uh, talk to each other to understand what they wanted to uh, uh, answer with in in the form of a reporting perspective okay so where you would first need to understand what they are trying to achieve out of the given data and then you have to pose some questions to the business to transform that into the reporting so what questions are needed so you would need to ask 
what is the data source so you would also need to follow this strategy you could follow the strategy like what when what where and how okay so maybe you can ask like okay what is the purpose of this particular report or what is the data sources that is needed over here and uh, where is the data located or uh, uh, where are the users located so you can ask questions based on what your uh, business has given you the requirement right based on this you can frame these uh, five uh, uh, important questions to help you get the best out of your conversation okay so always remember these five uh, keywords which is where what why when and how okay so make sure that you have these uh, the questions that you frame around these five uh, important uh, keywords so that you get the best out of your business requirement conversation now once you have the business requirement gathering being completed through the meetings that you set up try to make sure that you have this written confirmation from your business whatever you've agreed to within the conversation in the meeting please try to drop an email make a note of what you have discussed over that meeting and copy all the participants in that meeting along with that respective business person and ask for a confirmation that we've agreed to work on these 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 requirements and ask him to give a confirmation over an email so that when uh, post your uh, reporting work has been completed right you do not need to like uh, you don't need to uh, so you do not want that person to come back saying like okay this was not been expected or this was never been uh, uh, asked from your uh, reporting or probably he might come up with a new uh, business requirement so which would make you to redo the whole process again and there would be a lot of time uh, consuming part right so you do not want to redo the whole process from the scratch so that conversation what you had over the meeting make sure that you have that written con confirmation so that you both are agreeing on the factors that have been discussed over that meeting okay so now once you agree on that requirement right you work on the uh getting the data from the data sources and build the reports out of it and if you have some questions to it you can always contact your business to clarify on the same and you can just show your uh, report what you have developed so far and you can get that uh, confirmation as you progress over so once your reporting has been completed you can just uh, publish that onto the power bi service and grant access to whoever the users are related to that okay so this is your typical roles and responsibilities of being a power bi developer so i hope you understood what are the main skill sets that is needed along with the roles and responsibilities of being a power bi developer thank you